Well, good morning. Figured I would get my hair all done up nice and right this morning. No idea how long that's gonna last. It's probably gonna be a mess in a little bit. Getting another early start this morning, folks, and today is Friday. It's the end of the week, the week that was said we're gonna wrap up the house, and if we do not get this thing wrapped up today, we are gonna be damn close, and it will get wrapped up this weekend. Still super confident of that, even though I know I'm sounding like a broken record. Again, we gotta get an early start today because we've got stone coming for the driveway first thing this morning. That's coming at nine o'clock, so we gotta make sure we're there to show them where to dump it at. I wanna give a very special shout out to my homeboy, little Ronnie, who came and graded the drive yesterday. You guys will be seeing that when we get over there. There's a lot to get done today, and I'm not gonna make this intro long at all. Let's just get to it, and hope that by the end of today, we are damn near done. So I'm hoping for a good day on this fine Friday. You guys rooting for us? I hope you are, because we're gonna need a little bit of encouragement to make sure we get through this day and get all done what we've got to get done. All right, bright and early over at the house and bing, just getting over here. And shout out to little Ronnie. He got this looking really good. This is exactly what we were looking for right here to the, to the concrete right there, right up to the ramp, stone all the way down here. Stone's gonna be here in a little bit, hopefully. And we're gonna drop that stone right here. Damn, he did a good job on that. Heck yeah. All right, so that's done. We got a shit ton of cleanup to get done. Look at that. Damn. I don't know where that came from. Cool deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out some fabric so the grass can't grow up in the stone. And that's what we're going to do. Rabbit, you ready to lay this fabric down? We're going to find these spikes and get that squared away. That'll be first thing. Yeah, it's 150 feet, 36 inches by 150 feet. Just yeah, and then we're gonna overlap it. We gotta find these uh, garden spikes. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I saw them in here not too long ago. We need a damn doormat out here. Well, that'll be the doormat right there. Okay, garden spikes. Do we have them? They were on top of the refrigerator at one point and nothing so a lot of stuff to get done today folks as always and i'm confident we are gonna get it done we're gonna try to locate these spikes get that stuff set out there and then get rocking and rolling up inside of here and we'll share with you guys what we got going on throughout the day all right so over at the house, it's probably one o'clock in the afternoon and a lot of stuff has been going on over here, folks. Haven't been filming as much because we've been working as much. So bang, front bedroom, damn near cleaned up. Gotta get that door painted for the bathroom. Bang, check out the bathroom. We just went and got some old nuts to put on the back of that light and you really can't even tell. It almost looks like that's the way it's supposed to be. We got the toilet installed, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is the tiniest toilet I've ever seen in my life. So when I sit on this sucker right here, if I was trying to take a dookie, I got a It just feels like a real tiny toilet. But bathroom looks fantastic. Super happy with the way this bathroom's coming out. And again, the bathroom has Damn near done, minus the door getting put back on and that can't happen until we get that door painted. Been doing a bunch of caulking. I've been caulking around the edge of the attic, burning through caulk. It's crazy how much stuff you realize needs caulk when you're trying to get the job buttoned up. This back bedroom did all the touch up painting back here. We are done back here. 
Floors are clean. Only thing we need up in here is this to be painted one more time. Put the shelf in here and to hit the ceiling one or two more times. But that's done. Where this room is damn near done. So again, getting ready to hit the hallway, get that painted, and bing, moving out into the living room. Shout out to Rabbit. He, he's trying to fix that light switch right there, and he cleaned up this entire area. Got this looking good, or at least got all this shit up out of here. Still got to hit these floors. Richard has been doing a whole bunch of stuff. He put some trim at the bottom of the doors, but we got to address that because the door doesn't really shut too well. Second coat of plaster back there behind the tank list. And he's going to the store right now to get the wire so we can make the plug for that. So, it's Friday. Oh, we also had the stone delivered. I'll show you that. We got to wait till tomorrow. Little Ronnie's going to come and spread the stone. And here's kind of like our driveway. So we put this material down, this grass stopping material. It didn't stop no dump truck though, and bang, seven tons of stone. Hope that's gonna be enough, I think it will though. Skirts gotta get painted on the house. Ramps gotta get pressure washed. Roof's gotta get repaired a little bit and pressure washed as well. But I think we can get it all done this weekend. Realtors are coming to check this thing out on Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to be staging this place potentially. So, we're done. Damn near. After this weekend, finito. And I'll be happy to get this thing done. Going to get back to work right now, get this hallway knocked out. And the next time you see us, we'll be damn near done. And that's going to be a great feeling. Man. Real nice. Well, I was literally just talking about I wasn't going to film too much and I was gonna work. But no sooner than I cut off the camera, me and Rabbit got to arguing. That's a funny situation. He's been having an attitude all day long. I didn't know what was wrong with him. And it was about money. And the amount that I'm paying him per day, I had been paying him $70 a day. He said that we had been working 10 hour days. Maybe we had been. And yeah, $70 ain't a whole hell of a lot of money per day. But damn, I figured it was about nine bucks an hour what I was paying this guy. And I know it wasn't a hell of a lot and it is what it is. Uh, you really ain't been doing too much. I mean, the insulation work was some ass busting shit, but you were scrubbing floors and losing shit. You lost the screws from behind my light. So now I've got some freaking bobo ass nuts on the back of my light. And we've also got a little bit of history up in this house of sh things not going right. And I'm not trying to bring up the past, but it is what it is. I'm at the end of this thing and I'm just trying to get it done. And yeah, maybe I'm wrong for, you know, paying him so horribly. He says, you know, should've been paying him at least $100 a day. And all he's really been doing is labor stuff. So, Forget all of that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And it is what it is. He walked off and he's gone now. And it's only me over here. Richard went to the store. And this is the day that I'm trying to get this damn thing wrapped up. It is what it is. I'm getting back to work. We're gonna wrap this damn house up one way or another. That's probably not gonna be good, but whatever. I figured I would film as I'm I figured I would film as I'm trying to wrap this day up over here and what a freaking crazy day it's been. You know, yesterday was one thing, popping the test on a rabbit and you know, I'm, I'm glad that he passed the test. I'm glad everything's going good with him. Maybe I ain't been too great of a friend, you know, paying him $70 a day. Maybe that's wrong. Whatever, I wasn't even thinking about it. I wasn't thinking about the amount of hours that we were working. I was paying them every two days. And I'm not trying to justify this and make me sound like I'm right. Probably wrong. Obviously I'm wrong. Obviously Rabbit felt some kind of a way about it. Ugh. And that's what led to the argument that him and I had today 
which, which caused him to walk out of here. I think, you know, if it was handled differently, maybe I could have handled it differently. But it turned into an argument. You know, I'm mad that he walked off though. This guy ain't never let me down before. And I get it, I let him down and I wasn't paying him what he was worth. I get it. You know, I wanna say this in my defense. Everybody thinks they're worth all this damn money. But in my opinion, because usually I'm the one who's paying people, you know, you're worth what your work ethic speaks of. And don't get me wrong, Reb is a hard working dude. I'll never take that away from him. But for the last couple of days over here, minus the installation, which was only for about an hour and a half the second day. The first day, he didn't even really do but a little bit of insulation with us. Maybe 30 minutes of insulation. For the most part, all he's been doing is cleaning up. It's not like I've had him doing any electrical or any skilled work. He's been laboring over here. All right. It is 4.47 and I'm getting ready to wrap it up on Friday. Only me left over here right now. Rabbit walked off earlier. Richard had to leave at four o'clock. And I've been over here tackling paint. All trim has been painted and hopefully that's gonna hold up. And I gotta touch up wall paint in here, but all trim is painted minus that back right there, minus the back door. All of the trim in the hallway has been hit. And I even cocked up all of that. The bathroom is done. This front room is done. There's the bathroom door. I got a couple of coats of paint on that. And we're, we're wrapping it up, folks. We got the countertops right finally. This bar top whooped our ass, whooped Richard's ass. But we finally got this where it needs to be at. So good deal there. And we got the plumbing under the house tacked up. We got the whip made for the tankless water heater. Uh, another coat of mud behind that. Water disconnect way over here. We're there, folks. This weekend, clean up, outside work, a little bit of stuff on the outside. And on Tuesday, no, wait, Wednesday, we're going to be staging this place. But forget all of that. You know, the big thing is the fact that, well, I'm paying Rabbit $70, $70 a day for the last two days. And... He wasn't happy about that. We got into an argument and he kicked rocks. He left, left the light switch undone, left quite a bit of stuff undone over here. And I wanna say this, I'm not gonna sit here and justify this like I'm the good guy. I'm not, I don't even care. It is what it is. If you had an issue with the way that I was paying you, you know, there probably was a better way of going about it. Honestly, if he would have just said, hey Joe, you know, I need some more money. That might not have ended the way that this situation did, but for whatever reason, the, the conversation got heated pretty quick. I got mad pretty quick. Then so too did Rabbit. And then he left. And on Friday, on the week that we're trying to get the house wrapped up, damn it, Rabbit. I don't even know where he went. He walked off. So hopefully he's okay and whatever. I'm sure he'll calm down in a couple of days or a day and he'll hit me up tomorrow or maybe in a couple of days. And we're gonna hash it out. We're definitely gonna hash it out. If you got an issue with what I'm doing, tell me, you know, let's, let's talk about it. Let's not get to arguing about it, but whatever. I'm wrong for paying the man $70 for the last two days. But to be honest, all he had been doing is labor work. He did help with the installation yesterday or the day before that for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours max. And the day before that, he did insulation for 30 minutes. Other than that, he's been cleaning up, picking up trash, cleaning floors. It took you two days to clean one bedroom floor. When I went back there and put a rag on my shoe and started getting that floor cleaned up quite quickly. He was mad at the fact that, you know, we weren't taking any breaks. I'm not taking no breaks. I'm trying to get my damn house done. If you want to take a break, take a break. You're a grown ass man. But I ain't happy with the fact that he just walked off of here. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So regardless, we got a hell of a lot of stuff done in here today and we are that much more close 
to getting this thing wrapped up. I spent a lot of time in this hallway today. Got this attic covering painted. Got to clean off that grate. It's really just tedious stuff. I spent a lot of time today with the caulk gun. Did a lot of caulking. Feel like it was a good day regardless. I got a ton of stuff to clean up. I'm getting out of here. And I'll be back over here tomorrow and by Sunday at the latest. This damn thing is going to be wrapped up and done for real. And then on Wednesday, we're putting furniture up in here, getting a for sale sign in front of this thing. And y'all are going to see what this thing's going to look like when it's all dressed up and decorated. I got a feeling we're all going to be pretty impressed.